I'm going to say just a few more words. For me, movies are life. Every time a screen begins to glow, my hopes are high. I'm sometimes disappointed, but obviously not often enough to dampen my own hopes. Truly great films always take me by surprise. They fill me with sheer and utter joy and sometimes send me into the pits of delicious, devastating despair. They sweep me away. It's much more than pure pleasure to be spellbound, delighted, changed and moved by a story that comes to life and then to enter once again the real world with all those emotions pounding into my heart and memory. That feeling is what gets me. Of course, we all know there's a lot more that goes into making a film uh, than just buying a ticket and sitting back on our seats in, in anticipation of that great story. There's all the planning and production. There's the director, the actors, the big names. Yet the one most important, one of the most important contributors to any film is the cinematographer. He rarely becomes a household name, although in this case, probably has become. Not a name you'd ordinarily recognize, but this person plays one of the most important roles in the final product. No matter how big the budget, no matter how stunning the actors, without great cinematography, there is never a great film. None, not ever. It's the cinematographer who brings the screen to life. He or she gives brightness and light and dark, power and meaning to every single image on the screen. Through a mere camera angle and appropriate lighting, he can change the very essence of a character, the impact of the story, the memory we carry away as a viewer. He, it's the actor's job to take the screenplay to the next level, <laughs> turning words into emotion, and the director's job to craft with sincerity and passion and deliver the film to us, and to make us believe the story is real and not imagined, but imagined they are. And the cinematographer makes us believe and believe and believe. Legendary Vil, uh, cinematographer Vilmos Sigmund, a man whose contributions to the industry are staggering from the Deer Hunter and Deliverance to McCabe and Mrs. Miller and The Rose. He has brought us images that have not only helped to shape my own taste in film, but have helped to educate us on the state of human condition. His work has shown us a bigger world than the one we're ordinarily exposed to. He's made us laugh and cry. He's introduced us to things both real and imagined that have changed our lives. And for that, I humbly thank you. As someone who spent my entire life in awe of the magic of movies, it's my privilege to present Salem Film Festival's second tr special tribute award to the great Vilmos Sigmund. Very touched. I didn't expect this. I just came here basically to be a guest. And thank you very much. Thanks for Oregon. I love Oregon. You know, my, all my family lives here. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Thank you.